And um, and basically, Pastor MacArthur delivered a sermon Sunday about biblical sexuality, part of a nationwide campaign to draw attention to Canadian legislation that would silence pastors on LGBT issues. Now, here's the story on all this, what's going on. Um, in Canada, they're getting ready to pass a really tough bill that they're, they've never had before on, uh, you know, you can't, you can't convert people and try to talk people out of all this. Dude, that issue. was a bummer. Yeah, something that's very protective. Whatever uh, happened to showmanship? Plus, uh, Remember, they worked real hard to get that it's, just it's, it's, right. What do you think? I want to sue the people who made that. Okay, really yeah. yeah, that's so yeah, let's, constructive. I mean, have you ever seen Apocalypse Now? Yes. Okay. A great. What well, is that this? exists in the same world with this. What is it? Which one are you going to do? look at? And what? Well, what Apocalypse Now. Right. right. Yeah. Every fucking time. You're going to get halfway through that and go, let's go get the Apocalypse Now DVD right now. Oh, I see what you're saying. Hello, everyone. Sergeant Pepper here. And today... I'm back! I'm back! <laughs> All right. I know I've been gone for a while. I know I've neglected this channel for far too long. And I am so very sorry. Please, please forgive me. But I've been very busy with life. You know, that college life, all that work, all that grind, getting the caching, getting the dough. I mean, I am a single father after all. I have a child to take care of. This is something new I wouldn't try. I'm gonna call this section of the channel Dissecting a Character. And what I'll be doing here is instead of looking at one video or yeah just the one video i'll be looking at a whole person not just their youtube but also their twitter instagram whatever anything is fair game anything that's on the internet is fair game i'll look at it and i'll basically analyze some very insane arkham inmates now the first arkham escapee we're looking at should be familiar to all of you if you've been keeping up with the content. Today, we are looking at Spencer Smith. Now, this is just part one of... God, I don't know how many. Only time will tell, okay? And listen, doing, doing all the research on this guy, it's just been a fucking chore. I can't anymore. I physically and mentally can't. Having to read through all his bullshit tweets, listening to all his bullshit videos. It's been way too much. And now, I fucking hate doing this at the beginning of the video, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm going to tell you to subscribe. I'm not asking you, I am telling you to subscribe, because if you don't, bad things are gonna happen. And if later down the road, you think that I'm very cringe and you don't want to be subscribed anymore. Oh, well, how about this? You stay subscribed anyways, but I'll allow you to turn off the notifications. So do we have a deal? Good. Now, before we begin the video, I have to address something. No, this is not an attack on Christian people. Or heck, this is not an attack on Christianity. The person we're looking at today happens to be Christian. But honestly, that doesn't excuse the crazy bullshit that I've been seeing. It really just doesn't excuse anything that I've been seeing. And it's a lot. Trust me, it's a lot. And honestly, if you're Christian and watching this, just know that I am doing you a favor. I am today exposing one of the very bad apples in your community. And this is a this is a person there's something fucking wrong. It makes, makes Christians look bad. Yes, and, and this is what happens. And, and the problem is that this is always what happens. It's like every extremist. This is the unfortunate, this is the unfortunate cross to bear that um, all groups that have their own groups of extremists have to bear. It, it's true with WoW players. It's true with gamers. It's true uh, with religious people. It's true with uh, political groups. Is that it, it effectively is the responsibility of these groups to distance themselves from extremists. It's the responsibility of like a WoW player to distance themselves from a, uh, you know, these like crazy, like sexist stalker.
your weirdo guys. And it's a responsibility of like a Christian or like a, you know, Muslims, people like this to distance themselves from the extremists, from the dangerous people. Because if you don't do that, people are going to lump you up in the same category. It's not fun for anyone having to do this, having to talk about bad people in their community because it exposes the side of the community that really no no one really wants to pay attention to it. I guess most people just believe that if they just let this guy be, let people like him be, they're eventually just going to fade away. And God, I, I wish that were true. But this man has been on YouTube for far too long. And I'm pretty sure most of the things here just fucking saying that they break YouTube TOS might not be good enough. The things here completely obliterate, destroy, and they just downright violate YouTube TOS. And this first part of the video is going to talk about homophobia. Because you can't talk about religious nut jobs without talking about homophobia. So get ready, boys and girls, because this is going to be a doozy. This is straight out of the pits of hell, and this is a damnable heresy to imply that Jesus was gay with John is blasphemy. This is from hell, and anyone who believes this is going to hell. Because being gay is a sin, and Jesus was sinless. It won't be long before preachers are thrown in jail for not marrying gay couples. This is ground zero for religious liberty. The gay rights agenda has never been about giving rights to gays, but taking rights away from Christians. The gay marriage crowd will be sorry when the Supreme Court of Heaven rules against them at the great white throne of judgment. Why are you preaching on gay rights? Your blood is restricted because you most likely have AIDS or, or stand a strong chance of getting it. You're mo you most likely have AIDS. I'm fucking done. Nobody really thinks that a trans woman is a woman. They just say what they have to say so that they don't lose their job by starting an argument with a mentally ill degenerate. It's like a soft form of social terrorism in which we are all being held hostage. I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. <laughs> I hate my life. I am so sorry. I just cannot keep going like this. You know what? I need to get intoxicated. I need some of that hardcore stuff or else I'll probably die watching this video. So please do give me a second, do excuse me for a little while. Being exposed to all the hate towards the gay community, I quickly became homophobic. Hating on gay people became part of my lifestyle. Okay, so now that I'm ready to go, now that I've taken that good shit, we are gonna watch a little something. We're gonna watch a nice little video, a video that I forgot the name of. When I remember it, I'll put it on the screen right now, like, through the magic of editing. No. No, I don't think I will. Bro, I'm being attacked by space virus right now. I know it's not relevant to the video. <laughs> okay, but but you're gonna be able to hear it though. That that, that that's what matters. Oh, yeah. to hear. I fear that our culture is coming to a crossroads in the very near future, and one of the things that I'm noticing is that there's certain social justice issues of the day that you are not allowed to have any disagreement with. You have to believe this to be true, or you will be disappeared. What the fuck going on in Miami, bro? Boy, she got in that no, shit, that shit just disappeared. And guys, you will be disappeared. Damn. Yeah. Who's the fucking CEO of Babylon B? Seth Dillon. I I don't know. Last thing I heard, this guy was all right. You know, he wasn't. He hasn't been disappeared. You know, they like the fucking CIA hasn't taken him like. 
on a trip to Belize? Have you given any thought to um, sending him on a trip to Belize? Belize? Yeah, Belize. You know, where, uh, where Mike went to. Off on a trip to uh, Belize. But here's what I want to show you. The Babylon Bee is in the news. They have been suspended from Twitter. And uh, this is a this is really wild stuff. Uh, Seth Dillon, of course. Now, I, I kind of had some beef with this crowd of, a little while ago because they the way they handled Elon Musk and all. I love this how fucking they fight each some other. Beef. They, they they literally like fucking go around like all, all these like fucking um, homophobes, all, all these fucking like scum of the earth. They fight each other. They like. I, I don't know I don't know how they fucking disagree with each other since they both had the same fucking mentality. They both had the same hate, they, but they, they still find a way to hate each other. All that stuff right there. But beside all that, um, they've been suspended because they posted something on Twitter about um, this this post right here about uh, uh, what was it Rachel Levine. <laughs> who holds a government position and they posted saying that, uh, that this is the man of the year and you know, which of course is what they do. I mean, that's it. That's just their sense of humor. Here, here, here we go. Yeah, no. absolutely not. No, but there's no doubt in my mind that the spirit of this is, is, is of not this. really, you know, there's other people out there all the time who are antagonizing um, this kind of crowd, and and <laughs> antagonizing this kind of crowd. I wonder why. I wonder do why we antagonize. You, I truly homophobes. do wonder why. Why do we antagonize homophobes? Mm. Mm. I don't j shit. I don't know, Pepper. It's a mystery. Top ten questions science still can't answer. Exactly, like they're just being targeted just because you know we should we we should cut them some slack. We should let them be, you know. Just yeah, really. Them, you know, we should we should fuck no. You know, of course, the Babylon Bee's got millions of followers, but it seems like maybe maybe there's something to it in that there's a Christian aspect to it. Maybe that's what they. Do. There is no Christian aspect. He was a douche. Because got no one of the cares platform. if you're Christian or not. Exactly. No one cares if you're Christian. You can be Christian, Buddhist, or whatever the fuck you want to be. If you're a douche, you get deplatformed, and that's it. It's a the company can decide who uses the platform and who doesn't fucking use it. Nobody wants to say anything. Everybody's scared to. And we're going to a crossroads now, where I think it's the, the, the political left and and this crowd right here that is this way. This crowd is not going to slow down anytime soon. They're going to keep saying what they're saying and do what they're doing. They, I think to some degree they, they fit this crowd here in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 9 through 11 really well. And it, it says here, verse number 9, this is a rebellious people. Whoa. They're rebellious against the very order of who God is. But we live in a world now where the emperor has no clothes. And everybody sees it. Everybody sees that there's a problem here. But it's it's the man who laughs who gets executed. Fuck off. Everyone who has an EQ that's at least room temperature can fucking see that this was a malicious attack on a trans woman. The Babylon Bee got banned for being transphobic. Because guess why? That joke, quote unquote joke, was a malicious attack on trans people. As much as this, it's a malicious attack on gay people. And they're saying things like, well, well, don't be confrontational in the pulpit, y'all. Y'all, you with your passive aggressive sermons are really not helping people. You're driving more people away than you're bringing towards you in your local New no Testament church. You know what that is? That's effeminacy. Liberal sissies, they, listen, come on guys, we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to attract people, we're gonna have some ideas and try to, try to get them in and try to, you know, love people into the pews of the church, guys, come on guys, don't be like that with your bad attitudes, can I tell you today, that's weird, you're weird, I'm not weird, you're weird, oh no, come on, that's a cope, that's a cope. You might as well just like speed up everything he's saying and just put like the impact font on top, just saying cope. You are coping, coping and seeding. You just can't accept what you're seeing. Yes, you 
coping, coping and seeing the truth. Looking at me, writing books, saying, well, now, come on, guys. That, that kind of stuff, that beat em up personality, that overly aggressive, passive aggressive type pulpit mentality, pulpit ministry, that's not what people are looking for today. Doesn't matter what people are looking for today. Meaning that they look at this. Meaning that they look at this. And they say, well, oh, that's a beautiful woman. Well, I mean. <laughs> Please call 1-800-I-AM-A-GIANT-PIECE-OF-SHIT because you are the f***ing problem. And see, guys, this is the type of stuff that is polarizing, uh, that is causing society to really to fracture, to be pulled apart at the seams. And, and, and the problem is once you, once you pull so far apart, there is no putting it back together. It, it does irreparable damage once it goes that way. And I think that really is the, the, the people who hate America want that to happen. What? What the fuck? <laughs> you got me. Of course, man. Again, most intelligent man in the world. He cracked the code yet again. Damn. I don't know how he did it, but now I guess I have to come clean. Everyone, I hate America. That is why I'm not homophobic or transphobic. It's not, it's not because I don't want to be a douche. It's because I hate America. America fuck. No, unacceptable. It says lying, the Bible says lying children. Why are they lying and why are they rebellious? Well, that manifests itself in children that will not hear the law of the Lord. They want to get rid of the Bible. They want to re get rid of God. They want to get rid of Christianity. Oh, my God. Oh, no. They want to get rid of Christianity and the Bible and me. And they want to get rid of everything. <laughs> so sad, man. Poor Seth Dillon. And all he did... All he did was mock a transgendered person. <laughs> it's time to get your families right with God. Witness to your neighbor. Tell people about Jesus. Because it won't be much longer, friend. The spirit of this age is one of canceling. Not your friend, get rid of these people who don't tell. Bro. Don't tell us. Look, prophesy to us deceits. Right here. Tell us something that we know is not true. Just tell it to us anyway. We want to hear somebody lie to us because we love lies and we... Hey, you, want, you want to hear me lie to you? Okay. Spencer Smith, you're an intelligent man. Everything you just said in this video makes full sense. And I agree with everything you, you just said. There. Spencer I told Smith, you a lie. Your, ex your existence was totally wanted. <laughs> things are looking really good because things are looking really bad. We love you. Oh no. Things are looking really good bad. because things are looking bad. Spencer Smith, that made sense. Spencer Smith, I am going to subscribe to your channel and smash the like bu button. After I commit Sudoku. No, no, we're still lying to him, man. We're still lying to him. Oh, damn. I thought we were. All right, Spencer Smith. Totally going to subscribe to your channel. Totally. Spencer Smith, I'm totally going to donate to you through PayPal. Spencer Smith, I'm totally going to find your dad. Because clearly he didn't play catch with you enough. <laughs> Being exposed to all the hate towards the gay community, I quickly became homophobic. Hating on gay people became part of my lifestyle. Well, good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. I'm drinking some coffee from my Satan, a.k.a. NASA mug, and I uh, hope you don't mind that. Oh, my fuck. Yeah, I'm drinking a co coffee from my Satan slash NASA mug. The fuck is that supposed to mean? Is NASA Satan now? Bruh. Uh, but I want to tell you that Amy Grant just this week has affirmed the LGBT lifestyle. And I think a big fat I told you so is in order. Uh, we wrote our book called no, Evil Good, the Life no, no, Christian No, 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 no,
Okay? No. No shilling. You, you're not shilling your book on my video. And in this, we actually just... Cool. That, that's great. Fuck your book. We've had numbers of people buy this. Okay, okay. And say this well, okay, okay, no shill, no shill, no shilling, no shilling, no shilling, no shilling. And why this no matters. No shilling. Uh, right. Music is the fruit, but theology is the root. And I want you to always get that. And when we come into this whole idea of Amy Grant, um, you know, she she's a train wreck, and she always has been. Uh, but straight, uh, excuse me, pridesource.com. Do you honestly think you're fucking funny? Seriously. Oh, God. Spencer, Spencer Smith, Spencer Smith, you are not funny. Please don't ever do that again. You are not funny. Did an article on the 13th, which about four days ago. Uh, gay, straight, it does not matter. Amy Grant takes her LGBTQ plus support one step further in new interview. Uh, crossover Christian and pop music megastar Amy Grant recently made clear her thoughts on the LGBT community and Christianity. Grant shared uh, her most pro LGBTQ plus sentiment to date with Apple Music's proud radio host Hunter Kelly. Uh, though she has a large following, there's even gay friends of Amy Grant group on Facebook. I, I'm not a member of that group. Uh, the singer has been somewhat guarded in verbalizing her support for the LGB community. Now, we can now say that without a doubt that the community has Grant support. Uh, this is what Grant said. Who loves us more than the one who made us? Grant asked Kelly in the July 12th interview. None of us are a surprise to God. Nothing about who we are or what we've done. That's why. To me, it's so important to set a welcome table because I was invited to a table where someone said, don't be afraid, you're loved. Gay, straight, it does not matter. It doesn't matter how we behave, Grant continued. It doesn't matter how we're wired. We're all our best selves when we believe to our core, I'm loved, and then our creativity flourishes. We're like, quote, I'm going to arrange flowers on your table and my table. When we're loved, we're brave enough to say yes to every good impulse that comes to us. That uh, Lauren Daigle basically a few years ago did the same thing. She, she did not, like, she was asked if it was sin, and she was said she just waffled around and said, "Well, I can't really say that it is because you know I have friends that are that are this, and I mean you know you can go look it up yourself." I mean, you have friends in the LGBTQ plus community. You're not gonna go on record saying that anyone in the LGBTQ plus community is a sinner that will go to hell. That's just common sense, or at least it should be. It should be common sense. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with this. I mean, I guess you can you can even believe it as long as you, you're not fucking stating it. But then again, if you would believe it, you wouldn't have friends that are in the fucking LGBTQ plus community. And I want to tell you right now that uh, we've outlined this in our book. OK, shill, shilling again. Shilling. I'm not, I'm not going to play it until you put the book down. Put the book down, mister. Put the book down. What do you have there? A book. No. Okay. Put the book my eyes on. Yeah. It is sacred. It's off limits. And I think our theology should be sacred to us. When it comes to this this particular sin, now I want to tell you that the Bible is the Bible is not some hit piece on gay people. It's not. The Bible condemns all sin. Okay. Oh, I didn't say it. The Bible said it. It's, it's as we always say, right? These people, the homophobes and... Yeah, yeah, the fucking homophobes. The worst of the worst. They always use their Bible to fucking... They use the Bible as an excuse for their bullshit. Yeah, okay, the Bible said it, but you don't have to... Fuck, you don't even have to follow that passage of the Bible. You can just, like, you know, live and let live, as we say. And don't you tell me, oh, but I accept them, but I accept case, or I, like, I'm not bothered by them. Look, if you truly weren't bothered by them if you accepted them or if you at the very least tolerated them you wouldn't have posted all the shit you posted on twitter you wouldn't even have made this fucking video so no you don't fucking tolerate them now here's the deal now let's just let's just take the the variable and change the variable okay instead of instead of being the lgb whatever 
let's make it like alcoholism. Okay, like you got this guy who's a raging drunk, and he 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 just his life is so in in disorder. Um, for somebody to come out and say, you know, that's okay. I know that you're, you know, I know that you're destroying your body. I know that you're doing. I mean, you're you're spending all your money on alcohol. Um, and I, it's okay. That's not a loving thing to do. Okay, if you love these people, you will not affirm them in their destruction. This is so fucking stupid. Oh my god, this comparison, this fucking comparison is so fucking dumb. And I'm gonna tell you why. You probably don't need me to tell you why, but I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to take my time to explain why this is so fucking stupid. Hear me out, okay? Let's put religion aside for a while. Let's put your belief systems outside. Like, just like, open your door, take your beliefs, toss them out the door, and then you let them come in after I'm done, okay? All right. So take your local meth head, right? And let's compare them to a gay person. Can't believe I'm doing this, but hey, Spencer Smith really wanted to do it, so I'm going to do it. All right. Let's compare being gay to being a meth head. So being gay, does being gay hurt others physically? Answers no. No one no one is hurt because two men kiss or two women kiss. No one is going to be negatively affected just because homosexuals exist, alright? They don't harm anyone. Now, do they harm themselves though? The answer is still no. Like you could probably say, oh but but, but there's like Lesbian couples are toxic, or gay couples are toxic. Motherfucker, any couple can be toxic. Okay? There's straight couples that can be fucking toxic, the same way that there's fucking gay couples that can be fucking toxic. So that aside, there is no harm that comes exclusively from being gay. Now let's look at meth heads, right? Now does consuming meth or any other drug hurt you personally yes yes it does and if I have to pull up some fucking studies to show you that it does we have a problem okay but consuming meth consuming drugs hurts you it can be bad for you fuck it there's no it can it will be bad for you it will be pretty bad for you don't do drugs kids don't do drugs now, how about hurting others? Can drug addicts hurt other people? Yes, they definitely can. Just take, for example, an alcoholic, right? Just imagine an alcoholic just being fucking drunk, can barely walk, but he still decides to get into his car and drive back home. He can not only hurt himself, but he can hurt anyone on the streets. He can hurt any pedestrians, anyone driving, any bikers, Everyone on the streets is at risk of being injured, severely injured, or just killed because there's a drunk driver. And this goes for any other drugs, just don't drive under the influence of drugs in general. Now you see why this comparison is moronic. One thing, being gay, is completely harmless to you and the people around you, and the other thing being a being a druggie can be it, it, it's harmful for you and it can potentially be harmful to other people around you so there you go fuck you spencer Smith. and what she's doing is is i mean she's trying to be kind and trying to i guess build a bridge and uh, and the lgbt community they they feel like they have this immense pressure on them because they feel like nobody accepts what they do 
Yeah, I can tell you of someone who doesn't like them, who doesn't really respect them, or accept what they do. What was his name? God, I had like... I had it. I, I forgot it. I, I forgot his name. Like, it was this sad, middle-aged man with the, with the fucking strongest southern accent I've ever heard in my goddamn life. What was his name again? It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. And to some degree, that is true. I mean, I, I've I've worked with several of them through the years, and I've I've had very uh, very cordial professional relationships with many of them. I, I mean, I, I have not hurled hate at these people on an individual level. <laughs> Press X to fucking doubt. On an individual level, I can tell you you have, and you've also done it like in general. Like, you've just been. A dickhead to these people. You can't. You can't fucking deny that. The fact that you're doing so right now. It's quite amazing to me. Like, I don't know if you believe you're doing good, or if you're just too dumb to realize that you are actually attacking these people. Well, I stand where God stands on these issues. They're, I understand what they're saying. They're saying that we we, we are a, a, a attacked, criticized, persecuted people, and I understand what they're saying. Um, maybe they're exaggerated just a little bit. Some of them do, but uh, not all. To to put out some sort of some sort of branch and say it's okay what you do is not an act of love. No more than it would be for some 20-year-old cocaine heroin addict to say, you know, hey, it's okay that you do heroin. It's okay. Uh, how can you say this with that face? How the fuck can you, can you just fucking say this and be like, oh, I'm right. I, what I said here was true. What I say here makes sense. How the fuck can you say that? How the fuck can you believe this? What the hell's wrong with you? What the, what the hell is wrong with you? I mean, there's a lot wrong with you, but uh, God, I can't. Now, now I remember why I took a break. Now, now it's starting to click. That yeah, maybe I took a break for a reason. That's not a, that's not a loving thing to do to anybody to affirm them in their destruction. It's not. And the truth be told, we live in this day and age of just such perverse sin. We live in a society. And it's, it's only going to get worse, and it, it's, a, it's a hard thing to do. Choose. We're sacrificing all that, all that on the altar of nice. Nice. And I want to tell you that telling a, telling a drunk that it's okay he's a drunk is not nice. Nice. We're, 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 we're telling heroin addicts and cocaine addicts that... Their addiction you're and their their idiot. destructive lifestyle. You're a it's okay. Idiot. God loves you anyway. Just keep doing what you're doing. It's you're all right. A, you're a fucking idiot. I don't know how many times I have to repeat this, but you're the worst. You are the worst content creator on YouTube. You make the platform worse for so many people. You make it worse for Christians. Make it worse for anyone really listening to this makes me want to take a bath with my toaster listening to this makes me want to be gay in iran and i could go on and on and on but but you get the point that's not nice that's a form of abuse really is what that is and i want to tell you that i want i want everybody to be saved when I got saved, I I came to know Christ as my Savior. I was, I was a dreadful sinner. I I was. I need to be saved right now, not by someone you know, just telling me about Jesus Christ because I've already I already know about Jesus Christ. I've already been Christian. I need to be saved from life. Horrible in my sin, and I was I was on a I was on a road to hell, and I was I was going there real fast, but Jesus rescued me. <laughs> Change my life and set my feet cry. on a solid rock and establish my goings. And are you actually gonna cry? And and I, I want to tell you right now, I want everybody to experience this, the saving grace and love of God. I do, I do. But for them to for them to know that they need the saving grace of God, they have to understand they're in trouble with God first. 
And so you're you're taking the law away from the situation. You're trying to t- you're trying to give people a cure for something they're not even convinced they're sick of. And I want to tell you this: that there is a there is a whoa, whoa, dangerous, whoa, whoa, damnable. What did he just say? You're trying to t- you're trying to give people a cure for something they're not even convinced they're sick of. You're trying to t- you're trying to give people a cure for something they're not even convinced they're sick of. You're trying to give people a cure for something that they're not even convinced they're sick of. Are you saying that you're trying to ungay the gay? Spencer Smith? Are you saying that gay people are sick? Not only is that very disgusting, Spencer, that's also against YouTube TOS. Now, I don't know if this video is still up on your channel, but if it is, that's a, that's a yikes. That's, that's, that's very much a yikes. And I want to tell you this, that there is a, there is a dangerous, damnable doctrine out there that is disguised as love. And it's not love. love. It's hate. Love. Like how he fucking pronounces it. These people are haters. Haters. These these compromising people that you know they say, well, we just gotta we're gonna love all over these people and and try to you know build relationships. Love all over these people. <laughs> yes, I I, I do want to love all over these people. Mm. Yes, man. My favorite part of the article is when they describe how Amy Grant said it's loving time and then she loved all over them. This this is truly an article. God, this video's gonna age like fucking milk. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm just so done with this fucking cunt. And this is just the fucking homophobic part. This is just the homo- homophobe section of the video. We still have more sections to go. There's more to this fucking video. I don't know how long this section is, but there's more to this. There's more suffering for me. Because if you think this video is long, I had to rewatch this over and over and over again. Listen to his bullshit over and over and over again. How do you think I feel? These people are haters. Haters. <sighs> because they won't tell you the truth. And I think the modern church today has committed the sin of being nice instead of being nice. good. I'm glad that somebody told me about my sin. <laughs> I'm glad that somebody told me that Jesus died for my sins. Is he is he actually going to cry over this? This is just... All it took was one woman saying, yes, being gay is okay. And and he and he's crying. He's actually going to cry. This is unreal. This is fucking unreal. The man, the grown ass man, is going to cry because a woman said it's okay to be gay. I'm glad somebody did. <laughs> because it changed my life. The gospel of Jesus Christ. And these people are, are are sacrificing the gospel on the altar of manners. On the altar of manners. You're a traitor to the gospel and You're traitor to the traitor. God. You're a traitor to the gospel. And so when it comes to these traitor. people that are living this terrible lifestyle and uh, you know, they want to be affirmed in that. They want to they want somebody to come out and tell them it's okay. And if you love them, you won't. You agree with the cry. And I don't know how you're going to take this video. I, I really don't. But I'm just sharing oh, with you, oh, you what don't I think. Know how it says here, I'm not a sure day. Frankly, I think I don't. I don't, I don't like in fighting with people and anything. I, I personally don't. But wait, wait. heart of sin in the name of love and manners and nice. Well, we don't want to nice. offend anybody. I, I personally don't want to offend anybody either. I really don't. <laughs> no, God knows my heart on that. Um, some people think. <laughs> I I never watch this part of the video, right? Because I never get past like the fucking Bible passage here. But did he really just say I don't want to offend anybody? Don't you buy into this mindset at all? This affirming of sin. 
Affirming. In the name of love and manners and nice. Well, we don't nice. want to offend anybody. I, I personally don't want to offend anybody either. <laughs> I really don't. Know. God knows my heart on that. Um, yeah, some yeah. people think I do, and I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't like. I, I, I wonder why. Why people? I, think I personally you do. don't. Oh, but you don't. God has not changed His mind on these things. And why should we? All right, all right, all right. I don't want to offend anybody. But nobody thinks that a trans woman is a woman. We're all just saying that because we don't want to have trouble with a mentally ill degenerate. Your words, not mine. But you don't want to offend anyone, right? What a fucking joke. What a fucking sick joke. And I want to tell you, this issue is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's not going away anytime soon. Yeah, there's something else getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's my love for Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? nice it's a short read don't worry it's an article that says study indicates two out of three adults okay with homosexuality one out of two okay with transgenderism all right all right all right all right, all right let's read this and and, and and i'm gonna read the first part and just so you know the first part is, is probably a quote from somewhere else this is not the this is not the author saying any of this the author like it comes later it, it's going to be really funny. You're going to you're, you're going to read the next part. Don't worry. But I'm, I'm the tiny fucking text. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll make I'll make it larger. I'll make it larger. Jesus. In a prior survey on LGBTQ youth mental health, the Trevor Project interviewed more than 35K young LGBTQ respondents and found that an overwhelming majority of them had reported recent symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder or major depressive disorder in the past year. Nearly half said that they wanted to get mental health care in the past 12 months but weren't able to access it while 42% of them seriously considered attempting suicide in the past year. And more than half of transgender and non-binary youth considered taking their own life. Knowing how vital a parent's love and support is for suicide prevention, it's encouraging to see a majority of adults express comfort with having LGBTQ kids, says Amit Paley, the organization CEO and executive director. Now, up to this point, everything's good. Everything's fine. I, it's a study done on LGBTQ kids, and they're saying that, you know, some of them have considered sewer slides. Some of them have, have considered taking their own lives because, you know, like, <laughs> sadly, to this day, there, there are still some people that don't accept them, that don't like them. And sometimes it can also be your parents, so it it it, it can get it, it can get very depressive at times, especially when it's your parents who are not like, you know, who are discriminating against you for uh, who you are, basically. Now, let's hey. um have Moose Rider read the, the, this Looks next part. It, it, it's pure Looks gold. Like it's my turn. Yeah, it's pure gold. Go ahead. Try not to laugh. Mm all right notice how it's implied that it isn't the child that it isn't the child's life lifestyle and choices that are affecting their mental health it's the parents support or the lack they're they're off that affect that affects it this is called manipulation it's a form of guilt tripping and gaslighting okay that, that, little... that, you know what actually that's it that, that that's good enough <laughs> yeah that that's it honestly for fuck's sakes so we start up this is really okay. fucking dumb but then the author comes in and says oh well you know it's it's not the parents fault it's their fault you know it's their lifestyle and choices that are affecting their mental health yeah crazy shit right it's the kids fault for being gay 
It's not the parents' fault for being pieces of shit and not accepting their child for who he, she, they, them is. Slash R. Look, if you want to be non-binary, if you just want to be part of the LGBTQ community, that's fine. And parents should be able to accept that. But no, it's not the parents' fault. It's the kids' fault for being gay. This is the amount of fucking reach these people are doing. And again, this is not Spencer Smith, but it's on his fucking website. And he is promoting the article. So if this is not a clear indication that this is the kind of shit that Spencer Smith truly believes, then I don't know what is, but like, there's so much fucking reach in this article. Like the, the mental gymnastics, holy shit, the mental, if mental gymnastics was a sport in the Olympics, then whoever wrote this article would get the gold medal. <sighs> Okay, that's, that's it for this video. What are you... Come on. Hey. Hey. We're done when I say we're done. While I was editing this video, Motherfucker came out with another video that I thought would be very interesting to look at because... Holy fuck. This fucking video, man. This fucking video. John MacArthur is now reportedly in trouble with YouTube and having videos removed for violating hate speech policies. Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. This is something I want to talk to you about. This is uh, Todd Starnes, who is a Fox News contributor. He's actually a good, good Christian man and uh, loves the Lord. He's, uh, he's evangelical, something like that. A nice guy, though. Uh Quick little parenthesis here. I looked into Todd Starnes and, you know, shit he's posted. He's not a fucking nice guy. He's not a great person. If anything, he's basically just like Spencer Smith. Um, he is reporting here on his website today, January 19th, YouTube, Pastor John MacArthur's sermon is hate speech. And uh, this is what the article says here. A sermon delivered by John MacArthur has been labeled hate speech by YouTube. Pastor uh, MacArthur is Pastor Grace Community Church. Sermons are broadcast to hundreds of radio stations, all that kind of stuff right there. And, um, and basically, Pastor MacArthur delivered a sermon Sunday about biblical sexuality, part of a nationwide campaign to draw attention to Canadian legislation that would silence pastors on LGBT issues. Now, here's the story on all this, what's going on. Um, in Canada, they're getting ready to pass a really tough, bill that they're they've never had before on uh you know you can't you can't convert people and try to talk people out of all this type of issue uh something that's very protective of the lgbtq plus uh community for once he's right about something yes this is you know the short version of the bill would be this it's just a bill that prevents shit like conversion therapy because you can't go around indoctrinating fucking, like, gay people into, you know, being straight. I mean, think about it, Spencer. Would you like it if I fucking put you in, like, I don't know, a conversion therapy, but, like, to turn you gay? Would you like that? I'm pretty sure you wouldn't. And I wouldn't fucking like that either. But why is it suddenly okay when it's done to gay people. And it's a typical leftist bill, a progressive bill. And uh, what, what they're saying up in Canada is that you can't, you can't preach the gospel to these people now, and you're going to face severe fines, jail time even, in Canada for preaching against this particular issue. Good. About fucking time. Good. Shit like conversion therapy is not good. That should have died a while ago. That should have died fucking years ago. But it's still a thing. It was still a thing in Canada. Now that's been out loud. Good. And so what they did was, is uh, John MacArthur kind of led the way and said, okay, on this certain Sunday, we're all going to preach on this issue. I don't know if they were just trying to get their licks in while they could. Uh, I, I, I guess that was the logic there. Uh, but they all preached on it and, and went across uh, the internet 
And John MacArthur kind of led the way preaching on transgenderism and whatever, okay? And uh, apparently what is being reported here by uh, Todd Starnes is that they took down his video. And uh, and so, I mean, I'll just see what, what they said here. There's, there's a quote from YouTube. And um, the, let's see here. It says right there, uh, John MacArthur, on one hand, the lie that deception is so damaging, so destructive, so isolating, so corrupting, it needs to be confronted. On the other hand, it's con- confrontation can't exaggerate what already exists, which is a sense of feeling isolated in relationships. And it says, but YouTube removed the clip, sent me a message saying the pastor's sermon was hate speech. Uh, here's the quote from YouTube. Our, our team has reviewed your content. Unfortunately, we think it violates our hate speech policy. YouTube wrote to me, we removed the following content from YouTube. And uh, there it is, which is a typical email from YouTube. I, I have, uh, unfortunately, I think I've got one of those in the past. But basically, it, now the article... You know, how, how about this? We'll look at a little clip from fucking John MacArthur's speech. We'll look at what the fuck he said. And then, using facts and logic, we'll determine if it's fucking hate speech or not. Spoiler, it probably fucking is hate speech. Because this old fart, this motherfucker, seems to be the same, same type of bullshit that fucking Spencer Smith is. Simply stated, there is no such thing as transgender. You should have gone for the head. Steve? I don't feel so good. You're all right. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. What's happening. I don't want to go. I don't want to go, sir. Please, please. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Yes, transgender people exist, though. They exist. They're either XX or XY. That's mm-hmm. it. God made man male and female. Oh, you're going to talk about XXXY? Really, you old fart? God. Female. <laughs> God. That is. I, I mean, sorry, science. Science. I'm an atheist, right? So I have to say science. I can't say God. Determined genetically. That is physiology, that is science, that is reality. This notion that you are something other than your biology is a cultural construct intended as an assault on God. I don't think, call me crazy, but I don't think that transgender people were doing that, like, you know, they transitioned. Despite God, I think they did it just because they wanted to. The only way you can address it honestly is to say, God made you. And God made you exactly the way He wanted you to be. You're not only fighting God in his physical creation, you are even more importantly fighting God in his sovereignty. You are fighting God in his spiritual relationship to you. This is a war on God. I'm not going to let God tell me who I am. I'm not going to let God define me. I'm going to be my own God. I'm going to define myself. 
please get off the internet. Go back to playing bingo with the other people in your, at your fucking old people house. Jesus fucking Christ. Shut the fuck up. And you're in, you're in Romans 1, and that's a reprobate mind. That's a mind that doesn't even function. So... Pretty sure the only mind that doesn't even function is yours. Fuck's sakes. While saying that with firmness so you understand it, I think this has to be dealt with with love and compassion because love and compassion, sure. there's some, some holes in the heart of someone going in that direction. There, there's a, a lack of being loved and accepted and feeling wanted and needed and significant. Shut up! What? I'm sorry. Please don't speak to me like that. I am simply saying that you Will you shut up? up hey. Shut the hell up. Shut up. Shut up. Skyler, shut up. Shut up. I... shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut hey. up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, okay, you fucking fucking armchair psychologist. All right. There's a lack of love of being needed. Dude, fuck off. Fuck right off. They probably just did it because they felt like it. So on the one hand, the reality of that lie and deception is so damaging, right. so destructive, so isolating, so corrupting, that it needs to be confronted. But on the other hand, that confrontation can't exaggerate what already exists, which is a sense of feeling isolated in relationships. So you've got to find the fine line between confronting the error of it to protect the person and at the same time providing the love and affirmation that that person needs to be all that God would have that person be. Or how about you just live and let live, you know? That's one thing you can do, you know, let them be. Don't be an asshole. But hey, no, they, they are going to war against God. Every single trans person, they're all at war against God. They're going to get their fucking rifles, their fucking tanks, missiles, and they're going to go to war against God. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Let's just keep content from YouTube and uh, there it is which is a typical email from YouTube I, I have uh, unfortunately I think I've got one of those in the past but fortunately you've had some of those in the past and actually there's a lot more videos on his channel that should be taken down basically now the article's not clear if he got a strike which I'm going to assume that he did like a community viol a community guideline strike and what it is is if you get through if he got his video taken down, he definitely got a fucking guideline strike. I mean, it, it, it's it, it's fucking hate speech. It is fucking hate speech. So yeah, he got a well-deserved community guideline strike. Three of those, then your channel's gone forever. Like they will literally delete your channel. Ah, victory! Good. And when you get one, you cannot post a sermon get for a week. Right now. So if we look here at uh, the times that, that Grace to You has posted, this one's three days ago, four days ago, ten days ago. Um, if if they do not post a video in the next week, you will know that they have been given a community guideline strike. So uh, what what does this mean for Christianity on YouTube? Really, I don't... It means you can't be a douche. Just means, like, Look at the fucking, the more wholesome Christian channels and how they're handling things. Even when they're talking about shit like, you know, homosexuality and transgenderism. They're at least more respectful about it. I don't, I don't really know. Um, now, people ask me all the time, so Spencer, how do you not get censored on YouTube? And, and, and the truth is here, YouTube is a platform that... It is kind of a minefield of wokeness, and it is kind of a minefield of, of political correctness, but they hand you the map before you walk across the field, and they tell you, here are the no-go zones. Don't talk about these things, and I have poured over that, and I've, I've really done my best to study it and look at it, and, and, and I, I, you know, if they don't want me to talk about that, I guess I can go talk about it somewhere else. See, now that's some bullshit. They tell you, here are the no-go zones. Don't talk about these things. 
and I have poured over that, and I've, I've really done my best to study it. See, now that's some bullshit. To, to put out some sort of some sort of branch and say it's okay what you do is not an act of love no more than it would be for some 20 year old cocaine heroin addict to say you know hey it's okay that you do heroin it's okay that's not a, that's not a loving thing to do to anybody to affirm them in their destruction the nut I, I had I there is nothing in me that has any uh, similarities to what he believed. That guy was crazy. Hey, it takes one to know one. And there's always going to be a, a crazy here and there. Yeah. Uh, but for for these platforms... There's always going to be a crazy here and there. Self-awareness. Self-awareness has left the chat. To censor what is inherently just a basic bible truth uh you know just as something as as basic as you know the bible is the word of god jesus was born of a virgin okay let's compare both statements the bible is the word of god and all you gay people are going to hell you are all going to hell your lifestyle is leading you down a road of death and pain. Fuck all of you, you're going to hell. But what you need to do to be saved is to be ungayed. You need to ungay yourselves. You need to come to me. And become heterosexual. You need to be straight. If you're not straight, God does not love you. If you're gay, your ass is going to hell. Now tell me which statement was worse. Or which statement is just... You know, just feels as... It's an attack to some... To like a group of people. Saying that Jesus was born of a virgin... I mean, you can say that, you can believe it, and whatever, I guess. Fine. But then the other statement is just fucking hate speech. I don't care if it's, you know, what the Bible says, it's still fucking hate speech. The Bible says a lot of things. Some of them are very, very out there. I'm, I'm not gonna say much, I'm gonna leave it at that, but yeah. Just, just yeah, <laughs> literally just yeah. These little truths away from us saying that we can't say these things, um, then what are we supposed to do? I mean, that's like, like you, you would never get on the internet and tell Muslims, okay, you can't, all that stuff about, you know, the Quran being the holy word of God and you're, you can't say that anymore. All right, shut the fuck up. Listen here. Spencer Smith. The fucking bill. It doesn't tell you that you can't say that fucking Mary was born of a virgin. Like, sorry. That Jesus was born of a virgin. And that the Quran is the word of God. It's allowing you to say that. The only thing you cannot do is say that being that being homosexual is bad. You can't go around doing fucking conversion therapy. And that's basically the gist of it. You are blowing this out of proportion. You're saying, but, but you wouldn't tell a Muslim not to say that the Quran is the word, of, the word of God. No one said that. No one's fucking like... No one is preventing them from saying that or believing that. That's fair enough. And heck, if you want to do shit, like if you want to say some homophobic shit in the comfort of your own house with your wife, Go ahead. No one is stopping you. Especially since you live in the US, not in Canada. The only thing you cannot do as a Christian channel is go around promoting conversion therapy or fucking going around 
giving all these fucking homophobic remarks, saying that it's a sin, or saying that you're gonna go to hell because of it. That's all you cannot do. Regardless of your religion. If you're Muslim and you're saying shit like that, that's wrong. And they're definitely gonna ban your fucking video if, you're, if a Muslim is saying that. Don't say that, oh, you wouldn't dare touch Muslims. This law affects every fucking religious person that believes shit like this, all right? It's not persecution against the Christians. Okay, well, they would have a, a major problem with that because that's like a that's like a foundational basic truth for their religion. And, I mean, it's like, <laughs> you know, that'd be like uh, telling Scientologists they couldn't say what they believe. And, of course, that, that would be kind of funny. Um, but, you know, he's saying that uh, Buddha, you, you, you Buddhists out there, you can't talk about meditation anymore. That, that's just something. You just cannot talk. You are fucking stupid. You are fucking stupid. It's just the one topic. It's just the one topic. We're not talking about Buddha. We're not talking about Christ. We're not talking about fucking Prophet Muhammad. We're talking about just the whole fucking conversion therapy or the whole fucking like hate speech. The whole fucking hate speech that fucking religious nut jobs have been spreading for fucking years now. They're putting a stop to that. And I'm all for it. You can't talk about it on this platform. Well, that's that's a major part of their religion. That's that's just a basic foundational truth they believe. So, uh, why would you why would you try to take these pieces of these religions away from these people? Uh, can we not just all express what we believe uh, theologically, what we believe to be true about God? Um, and but this particular issue is highly sensitive, and they try to protect these people. And it's a progressive policy uh, that is just it's it's it doesn't seem like. Uh, the future of being able to speak about these things openly is uh, is looking good. But but of course, here's the deal: uh, Christians have always been persecuted by, uh, by <laughs> because of what we believe. Yes, more persecution. It's finally here, guys and and gals. More persecution. I'm being. Look at me. I'm being persecuted. Oh no! They said I couldn't fucking. You know, convert gay people into fucking straight people. I'm being so persecuted. Christian people have always been persecuted. Go fuck off. Go play the victim somewhere else. You dumb motherfucker. You dense piece of shit. Uh, you know, the, the world's going this way and God's going this way, and there's always is going to be a conflict here. I mean, Daniel was thrown in the lion's den. The three Hebrew children uh, were thrown in the great fiery furnace. Uh, I really believe that the golden image of today, uh, like just like the you know the three Hebrew children were thrown in the fiery furnace, the golden image of the day is, is going to be the issues like these. And any man who doesn't bow is going to be thrown in the fiery furnace of censorship or the fiery furnace of whatever. I mean, just you... you I'm about to throw myself into a fiery furnace right now if you don't shut the fuck up. Deep platformed whatever. Um, but we know that God is in control and that God is in charge. And so um, when it comes to this, you know, I'm, I'm not... Uh, John MacArthur is a guy I've got significant theological differences with him, uh, but I, I do appreciate the stands he takes on, on certain issues and uh, appreciate, uh, you know, uh, him him keeping his church open was pretty wild to me. I, I thought this was going to be ground zero for religious liberty, you know, here in America. Uh, but if you go study Baptist history in early America, you go study Christian history, you go study, I mean, just even the stories in the Bible, you will see that this world is on the opposite, going the opposite direction of God. And anybody who speaks for God is going to clash very hard with this old world. And uh, there was an old preacher years ago named Maze Jackson. And Maze Jackson preached under the guideline strike. And if you get three of those, your channel's gone. So yeah, big please, deal. Please. Check it out, guys. Thank you very much. Please and, get three fucking guideline strikes already. Jesus Christ. I'm so done with this, man. So just to conclude this section, I have to say, Spencer's treatment of the LGBTQ plus community is fucking disgusting. And I know you don't need me to tell you that, but I want to be clear 
for any idiot out there that's gonna come and tell me that I'm attacking Spencer Smith because he is Christian or that I hate Christian people. First of all, I have to say I am not part of r slash atheism, okay? Fuck off. And second, it's not because he's Christian. It's because he's a homophobe and a transphobe. Honestly, I don't care about his religion. I care about the things he's saying. I mean, is it so hard to be Christian and not be a homophobe? I mean, it isn't. It really isn't. We've seen in Spencer's own videos that there are Christian people that accept homosexuals. But it really is sad to see that a man with 100k plus subscribers is just going on and on and on about like homosexuality and being trans and if he was saying nice things about it it'd be fine of course but Spencer Smith is just attacking them attacking them and attacking them and yes these believe it or not are attacks he is attacking a group of people but regardless of all the circumstances and I'm talking to everyone here, to everyone watching this video that agrees with me. Please don't go and harass him. Going around and harassing people is not going to help. Also, this man, in all his craziness, in all his lunacy, he believes he's doing something right. He believes that he is saving them. And I know that sounds like lunacy. I know that sounds crazy. But it's a fact. He believes he's doing something right even though he isn't so you going out of your way to fucking harass him or to fucking send death threats or anything it's not going to help it's it's just going to make it worse so just let the man be his channel will die out eventually at some point YouTube's definitely going to do something about him but yeah that's pretty much it don't send any hate to anyone. Just let his channel die out. The channel will just eventually die. And in 10 years from now, no one will remember about Spencer Smith. Anyways, with that said, please like, subscribe, turn on the bell. And honestly, Spencer's treatment of gay people, really bad, but I am sure, I'm pretty sure that there's gonna be a group of people out there that he treats right, right? Like, you know, women, I mean, who could treat women wrong, right? What kind of prick could go around saying things like, women should be submissive to the man, they should be keepers at home and just, you know, be inside the house 24-7 cooking and making babies. Who would say such a thing? Not Spencer. Couldn't be precious Spencer. And the husband says, well, what are you dressed like that for? And, uh, and she says, well, I'm going out with my friends. And he said, no, you're not going out dressed like that. You're my wife. You're not going out dressed like that. And they argued. And, and he, it was a thing of spaghetti. He took that thing of spaghetti and tossed it on her, and it got on her clothes. <laughs> he said, now you, you ain't going like, out like that now, are you? <laughs> and, uh, and he said, he, we, all, we laughed about that story. Dear Mother of God.
Well, that's a beautiful woman. Well, I mean, <laughs> I don't even know if I want to say it. Say the words. Nothing happens until I hear you say it. <laughs>